Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really, really long time since I last filmed a video for you. If you haven't already seen my vlog, you will not know. <laughs> obviously, that I have been on holiday. So I have been in America, I went to California down the coast and then I went to Vegas as well and it was incredible. So I am back and I'm back with a haul video for you and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought when I was in America. So I have my goodies here. You can see that I went to Sephora. I did a massive, massive Sephora shop and I'm a little bit disgusted with myself about how much money I spent but there's a lot of products in here that I've wanted for a really really long time. So yeah I'm gonna basically just show you guys what I bought. I've been back now for a week and these products have literally just been sat in the bag. A couple of the products I have already used and the ones that I've used I will give you my feedback on because I have been using some of them every single day while I was there and then once I got back as well. One of the first big shopping trips I did was when I got to Vegas and we went out for drinks and then at midnight I was like right we're going to Sephora and I was really drunk and I just put everything in my basket basically so that is the reason why I have so much stuff here. I love these bags as well they're so cool. I have got like a normal Sephora bag in here that I'm gonna get out but it is broken so anyway so I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. So one of the first things that I bought which I have been using since I've been away Way, and this is a brand that I haven't seen before. This is called Grand Lips and it's a hydrating lip plumper. It's basically, it just got me with the whole like statistics basically. So it says instant plumper in three to five minutes, long-term benefits, C increases in hydration 51%, plumpness 15%, firmness 13% and softness 11% and then it just says after 30 days applied twice daily and it's got hyaluronic acid in it. Ugh. You guys know I love my acids and it has like one of those like really bad before and after pictures and that just got me and it's clear so I'm going to just get it out to show you. This is what the product looks like. This is the applicator. So what you do is you twist it up at the bottom and then apply it. Now, what I really like about this is it's not overly tingling. I really don't like really, really tingling lip balms. I find them to be really like uncomfortable and I don't find this to be too bad as some of the other brands that I've used in the past. I really love how this makes my lips feel. I do notice when they're on that my lips do look a little bit plumper and yeah I, I really like this. I would definitely repurchase this. Okay so the next couple of things I'm going to show you I have worn and I'm obsessed with them. So I have a pair on right now as well. So these are the Huda Beauty lashes and I picked up three pairs whilst I was in the States. So I bought Samantha, which is number seven, Farah, which are 12, and these are the faux mink ones. These are a little bit loose, so I'm really sorry. And also they have a tiny bit of glue on them still, so sorry about that. But these are my favorite out of all of them. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And then the ones that I have on are called Sasha. I can't remember what number they are. Wouldn't be a Huda Beauty haul without doing that. Woo! <laughs> absolutely love these lashes. I go through a stage with lashes where I like don't wear lashes at all, or I'll just wear individuals for like three months, and then I'll maybe wear something like my Wispies, my Demi Wispies by Ardell, which you guys know that I live in. But I'm like into really big lashes right now, so I'm just going for it. Yeah, I love them. I mean, like. I'd say that Samantha are the most natural pair and these are much wispier than Farah, which is just a little bit longer and more dense I would say. They're thicker, definitely the thicker pair. So the other pair of lashes that I picked up were from Sephora again and I picked up the House of Lashes Sephora collaboration which are these ones here. I think they had about three different pairs. So annoying they're loose. I'll do it like this, because then you can see them better. And I'd say out of all of the lashes that I bought, these are definitely the most natural. And these ones are called the Everlasting Lash. And I really love 
House of Lashes lashes. <laughs> House of Lashes lashes. Their lashes are amazing. I was really excited to pick these up when I saw them and I love them. I've worn these quite a lot. Something I would say with all of these lashes that I've bought, I do find, I mean, these are 20, about $20 each, so not cheap but I would say that these compared to like your normal high street lashes that you would get in a drugstore, they are such better quality. I mean, I've worn the Samanthas three times and honestly, like I need to take the glue off of the base of them, but honestly they look exactly the same as when I bought them. Whereas sometimes when I buy lashes from the drugstore, I'll use them twice and they'll just end up looking really manky and horrible. So I would say that they are worth the money and I love them so much. That was actually one of my favorite purchases. So sticking within Huda Beauty, I actually wasn't going to get the palette that she brought out, the rose gold palette. I saw it on Cult Beauty, I saw it all over Instagram. When she announced that she was bringing a, this palette out, I went nuts. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I saw how much it was when it launched and I was like, Do you know what? I'm not paying £65 for a palette. I just thought I'm, I can't justify spending that much on a palette. I really can't. But I did end up picking it up. I have it here. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys inside. I, if you follow me on my social media channels, you would have seen that I did pick this up. I have used it quite a few times, so it doesn't look brand new. I'm really sorry about that. I have swatched it and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you the colors. So you can see the metallics I've really used a lot of. Now, background story to this. It was actually our last day in America and the Sephora in Beverly Hills is incredible. It's my favorite Sephora ever. I have been to quite a lot of Sephoras in my life. We were in Sephora on the last day and I was picking up a few things for like my best friends at home. I just wanted to have one last look before I went home and I saw the palette in there. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was sold out and I swatched the colours and they were absolutely beautiful. I mean, what I'll do now actually is I will swatch them for you. I won't swatch all of them, but I will swatch uh, Trust Fund. Trust Fund is this colour here. I'm going to swatch that one for you and then I'll also swatch Rose Gold. So the idea with the pressed pigment eyeshadows which is the top row which I just showed you is to apply them with your finger and I swatched them in the store and I was like oh my god these are actually incredible like they are beautiful they are so pigmented and the colors are just absolutely stunning I looked at the other colors as well and there are a lot of colors in here that I love. I love um, Bossy, which is the aubergine color. I love this one, which is Man Eater, Henna, Sandalwood. It's a really beautiful palette. I love it. I, re I really do love it. But the price is just crazy for me. I mean, like, I know, like, I, I've just spent a lot of money on makeup. I understand what you're probably thinking. She's just spent so much money on makeup and she's moaning about a $65 palette. Basically, I really wanted it. But I thought, do you know what? I have so many palettes at home. Yeah, like they are incredibly pigmented. But I just, I, I don't know, I was really sat on the fence with it. And at the time, I have a Sephora VIB card and I think I was like upgraded to VIB Rouge when I was there, which is like the next tier up. I also had an email from Sephora while I was there telling me that they had like this 20% off flash sale over everything. The day after Donald Trump was elected, the dollar fell slightly. I mean, not like, I'm not talking like a crazy amount, but it, it did, like the market did go down a little bit. And I was in there and I thought, Do you know what? Well, it sold out anyway, so da 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 da, da. Anyway, left the store. I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, 20% off plus the dollar's gone down. Oh my God, I can't stop thinking about this palette. Like it was like playing on my mind, guys, okay? And we ended up going to the Beverly Center, which is like, it's down the road from Beverly Hills. It's not far and it's like a really big mall. And we ended up going to the Beverly Center because I needed to pick up a palette that was out of stock for one of my girlfriends. And I went in and they had it. And it was 20% off 
and the dollar had slightly gone down it was it was enough excuse for me to get it basically so i basically paid i paid about 42 dollars for this palette but yeah i do love it and i will do a look with this really soon for you guys so you can see what the eyeshadows are like on, how the pigment is, and then you guys can make your mind up about it. I do really love it, it's just a lot of money. So the next thing I picked up from Huda Beauty was this, which is her new lip contour set. I believe this has launched for Christmas, but I'm not 100% sure. And in here I have a lip contour, which is her lip pencil, and two mini liquid lipsticks. So she launched three of these. This is the nude. She has like a really dark purple kind of berry colour. And then she also has a more pink set. And I really liked the pink set, but I felt like it was just too pink for me. So I bought this one, which has, I'm gonna tell you guys what it has in it. So it has Trendsetter and Bombshell liquid lipsticks and the Trendsetter lip pencil. So what I really love about her packaging is the fact that she has put like diagrams here about how you can contour your lips. So I saw this and I was like, I'm picking this up. I had 20% off. It was $20, which I think is really, really good. You have a full size lip contour pencil and then two miniature liquid lipsticks, which actually if you put them together would make one. I love, love, love her liquid lipsticks so much. I am wearing Venus at the moment, which I didn't pick up in the States because they didn't have the full size versions of her liquid lipsticks they only sold the gift sets which are these ones and i'm gonna swatch them for you guys now so you can see so the top color is trendsetter and the bottom color is bombshell and i really like these kind of warm orange brownie muted kind of colors it has got a little bit of pink in it it's not really showing up that well on camera. I really love her liquid lipsticks a lot. Like they last really, really well. They don't look cakey when they're on in terms of when they sit on the lips, they're not so drying that it's just like, oh my God. I love this whole idea. I wish that we had stuff like this in London, UK. It just makes me really sad coming back because we don't really have anything like this over here, but these are amazing, these are such a good stocking filler or a present to bring back for someone if you are gonna be in the States or if you live over there. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, which I have been using nonstop, is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I am gonna be completely honest with you guys, I am not a primer person at all. I don't really believe in primers until I use this. I find that they can be really silicone-y. I don't like how they feel. Didn't really notice a difference when I've used primers before, but this has seriously changed my life. I had noticed that I was starting to get really open pores around my nose and then onto my cheek area, and it was just really bugging me. So when I got to Vegas, I just went up to one of the girls in Sephora and I said, what is really, really good for pores? And she told me that this was amazing and that I had to get it. So that's exactly what I did and I love it. So this is what it looks like. I love Too Faced because obviously they don't test on animals. I find that this really, really does work. It does what it says on the packaging. Next is something that I actually was given as a sample and then I went and purchased the full size on the last day. And this just goes to show how powerful giving a sample out to a customer is. And I was actually given the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Sellout. I'm gonna swatch this for you guys here. And it's just like a really nice nude. I love this color so much. And when I was given it, I actually wasn't that fussed about it. I was like, oh, a nude liquid lipstick. And I put it on and oh my God, it's amazing. It's actually really similar to the Huda Beauty one. So this is the color here. This is Sellout. It's really similar to Huda Beauty Bombshell. They are slightly different. I'd say that Sellout has a little bit more pink in it. This is an amazing formula. What they've done here is incredible. This has got something in it called Volulip, which is a plumping ingredient that they have put 
into these liquid lipsticks. I got the, I got this as my gift and I used it for about three days and I was like, I'm hooked. I love it so much. I had people stopping me in the street when I had this on, I'm not joking. And basically by the end of the holiday, 20% off, I bought a full size version. <laughs> this is probably my favorite color out of all of them, but they have so many amazing colors. And I really love the formula. <clears throat> I really love the formula of these. I feel like they're really hydrating when they're on. And again, they're not too dry, but they're still a liquid lip. But this is probably, out of all of the liquid lipsticks I've bought, including the ones I just spoke about, this is probably my favorite formula. Okay, next I picked up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is this one here. I saw that a lot of makeup artists use this. Makeup by Mario uses this a lot on Kim Kardashian. I've seen this being used loads. I bought this because of the hype, I'm not gonna lie. So far, so good. However, I don't know if I would repurchase this. The reason being, it's because it feels really nice on the skin, it smells amazing, but honestly, I don't really see the difference between using this and using Fix Plus by MAC. I do find that it does my makeup look really dewy and kind of beautiful, but I can do the same thing with Fix Plus by MAC, but I am happy that I did get to try it because it does give a lovely finish to the skin. So the next product is something that I've wanted to pick up for the longest time ever. Whenever I went to Debenhams or online, it was always sold out and I was really happy to find it in Vegas. And I picked up the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the color Midnight Cowboy. I used to have these years ago. They have a bluey color that I just used to wear all the time when I was like 15 and I love them. These are such an easy way to wear glitter. So this is what it looks like on and what I love about it so much is you can literally take the brush. It's like so thin and small. You have a lot of control over using these. This is a really nice easy way to apply glitter while still having control and still having the same effect as using a loose glitter. So the next thing I picked up were the mini beauty blenders which at these ones here and I have been going through a phase at the moment of using my pink beauty blender every single day to apply my foundation and I think that the green ones would be really really nice for concealer and yeah I'm really really excited to use these. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. It is a really beautiful foundation. I would say that it's sort of light to medium coverage. It has a really luminous finish to it. I've got the colour medium honey. This is what it looks like here. I really love it. It's a really lovely foundation. I would say that it has really, really good staying power. I really like it. It's a really nice foundation and it has a SPF in it which is great and it's a water-based foundation so you have to really really shake it. I love this. I'm gonna do a look with this soon so you guys can see how it looks. The second Tarte product that I picked up which is was actually on my list to get was the Tarte CC Concealer which is this one here. I got the colour Light Medium. There's only two colours in this which is a little bit annoying but seriously this is not hyped up enough. This is what it looks like here. And then this is the actual product inside. I'm really sorry that it looks a bit messy, guys. This is the best concealer to cover dark circles, uneven under eyes. It is incredible. Like, I mean incredible. It is my holy grail. Like, I will cry when this runs out. Anyone that is watching this right now that needs a new concealer, you need to go and buy it, okay? Because it is so good. And I really don't get why there is so much hype over the other concealers compared to this because this is amazing like seriously amazing this is the Huda Beauty Formula X Sephora collection nail polish and this was a really hard color to get because it was sold out everywhere but it is just the most gorgeous color it's like a rose gold with specks of gold and pink through it. It is so beautiful when it's on. I'm so happy I managed to get this because I feel like I've never seen a color like this before, which is why I got it. And 
yeah, these these nail polishes are excellent. They really do stay on very well. I love this colour so much. Okay, so I picked up a couple of fragrances while I was in America. I repurchased this one because I actually bought this last time I was in the States. And this is the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Intense Spray. This is what it looks like. And this is just like a really nice warm vanilla but it's not too sweet. It's sweet, but it's got like darkness to it. <laughs> I really wish you could smell on a YouTube video, guys. That needs to happen soon. No, I don't like sweet fragrances. I used to absolutely love wearing Britney Spears. It's the night one and it's in like this blue bottle and it is just like sugar and I used to love wearing that when I was like 13 but I don't really wear sweet fragrance but this is the one it's the only kind of sweet fragrance that I really like because it's got a little bit of a spice to it I also picked up Elizabeth and James Nirvana fragrance this is the vanilla bourbon version the top scents are Oakwood, Vanilla Bourbon and Tuba Rose. So again, this is quite a dark fragrance. I really like the packaging of this and it's a rollable. Yeah, this is definitely not as sweet as the previous one that I just showed you guys. But again, it's a very wintry fragrance. It's very warming and I really love it. I would definitely purchase a full size of this. But what I love about Sephora is you can go in and you can grab like the mini sizes which are these ones and then you can try them and you can see how they smell on your skin and that's something that I really wish that we had here. So another product that I picked up was the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow and this is in the colour Solstice? Soliste? I have no idea. I saw this and I was like what's this? Like I haven't seen this before. Anyway I swatched it and I was like oh my god oh my god this is amazing this is a liquid eyeshadow and the color is beautiful but i'm gonna show you how amazing this is because i am literally obsessed with this oh my god and this is the color and i have literally been wearing this on my eyes nearly every day and it is absolutely beautiful and they don't sell this in the UK. Like, I mean, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but when I went to Debenhams on my lunch break the other day, they didn't sell it in there, like it wasn't there. So this must either be a new launch or it's a US only exclusive. I don't know, but if you live in the US, you need to go out and buy this because it is such a beautiful color. I haven't seen anything like it. Ever. I haven't got anything like it in my kit. I wish I'd bought two of them so I could have one in my makeup kit and then one for me. This is the colour. It's just like a warm pinky brown colour with specks of blue and green glitter going through it. I can't stop looking at it. And you know what? It, it, it goes on really nicely. It stays on really well. It doesn't smudge everywhere, although it's wet. It dries very quickly. I love it. I have got quite a large Anastasia Beverly Hills haul for you. I picked up a lot of her products in Sephora. And then I also picked up quite a few of her products when I went to her boutique. And I also had my eyebrows done, if you didn't watch my vlog. I wish they would open in London. And I said that to them when I was like paying. I was like, please please, please tell her to open a salon in London. It was such a lovely experience. I mean, they take you into this room and you lay down and they talk you through what they're doing. And then basically they introduce you to their brow products after, which is great. She put these eyebrow pencils through me, which I've used before. And it was just so much fun. Like it was a great experience and it was the best eyebrow, like tweeze, wax experience I've ever had. And I'm really sad that I'm not gonna be able to get them done again for a while. So yeah. So anyway, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I have quite a lot of stuff here. So be patient with me. So I picked up some liquid lipsticks. I picked up the colors Dusty Rose, Ashton, 
Crush and Strawberry. So this is Dusty Rose. I own Allison already and I would say that it's very, very similar to Allison. It's just a little bit more pink. This is Ashton, which is a very 90s brown nude colour with a little bit of like a ginger hint to it. And then Crush, which is this peachy nude colour. It's almost like got a bit of coral through it, but it's a nude. So it's a nude pink with a little bit of a peach through it and I would say that this is actually probably my favorite with Ashton. I love this color so much. And then the final liquid lipstick I picked up was Strawberry which is this color here and it looks a lot more orange on my camera for some reason but it is just a beautiful red. It is the color of a strawberry so the names are very relatable. These are the swatches here so Dusty Rose, Ashton, Crush and Strawberry liquid lipstick. The the formula of these is excellent. They stay on really, really well. They don't flake off. I don't find these flake. They last for hours. And yeah, I love them. I love them so much and I'm going to be doing some looks with these soon. Okay, so when I was in the salon, I picked up some eyeshadows and then some brow products. So I picked up a Brow Wiz eyebrow pencil in the colour medium brown. I've used these before and I love them. They're double ended, so you've got the pencil on that side and then your eyebrow brush the other side. I then also picked up a clear brow gel, which is a clear brow gel. There's nothing exciting about this, but I really love her clear brow gel, so I picked up that. And something that my lady used on me after she'd finished my brows was this, which is the highlighting duo pencil, which is what it looks like here. So on this side you have like a nude, it's almost like a concealer and then on the other side you've got like a shimmery gold pencil. She basically just used this underneath my brow just to highlight it a little bit but I think a lot of people are probably thinking well what's the difference between this and then using a concealer under the eye. This is a lot lighter, the formula isn't heavy like a concealer would be so you need a tiny amount of this on, I've got it on at the moment and I put a little bit amount on just under my brow and then I literally just rub it in with my finger and it doesn't sit on the skin like a concealer would and I really like using the gold side as like an inner corner highlight so I love this I would definitely repurchase this and I got this in the color shell lace which I think is probably the lightest one I love these okay so when I was in the states I did pick up a Z palette a Z palette a Z palette <laughs> this is what it is it's a really Really big palette which is magnetic and it's not opening <laughs> um, and this is what it looks like inside so the colors on this side onwards on Anastasia these are new eyeshadows that I have bought within the last few weeks just so you know they're not Anastasia I will list below what they are the sorry if it's a little bit dirty by the way guys okay so these are the colors that I bought I will list below what they are these are all Anastasia Beverly Hills and and they are amazing. I adore them so much and I think they are actually the best eyeshadows I've ever used. So I love those. Okay, so whilst I was in the States, I did go to Namie's, which is like a famous makeup shop in LA. And I picked up a couple of Dose of Colors products. So the first one that I picked up was a loose pigment. This is called the Ideal Duo. So it's a loose pigment and a primer. And I got this in the color Shell. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is the primer that you put on before you put it on. And then the pigment, which I'm going to show you, is absolutely stunning. I love this so much. And I think this is actually one of my favorite purchases out of everything that I bought. And then I also picked up two of the liquid lipsticks. I picked Stone and Truffle Up. And these are just nude colors again because you can never have enough nudes. This color is stone and this color is truffle. Yes, I do realize I probably have loads of colors that are like this, but I wanted to try them and I really like the formula. I will let you know how I get 
on with them because I haven't actually used them that much to give you like a full review but I really like these. So I also picked up a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. I have Lolita already which I really like. I haven't really used it for a long time but I saw this colour, I think it was on Halloween and I was like I need it, I need like a vampy lip and I think I wore it that night in Vegas and I got a lot of compliments on it. I got the shade Vampira which is like a really nice blood red shade with a brown through it but this is what Vampira looks like so it's just a really nice blood red shade but yeah I absolutely love this shade so much and then last but not least I picked up a lip mask from Sephora and a eye mask and they these are both in the rose scent and I haven't actually used these yet I haven't used them before I've used the sheet mask before and I really loved it and yeah so I just picked these up and I actually think I'm gonna use the eye mask tonight because my eye bags are really bad right now but I just love Sephora own brand stuff as well. I think it's amazing. It's really, really good value for money and it works. So yeah, that is my haul. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know below if there are any products that you would like to see a tutorial on and, and it's really, really good to be back and I will see you guys soon for another video. Take care, bye.